Let's take a look at ratio tables. Complete the ratio table. And notice we have two columns. We have the input number and the output number. So when we put in eight, we get out nine. When we put in 16, we get out 18. So there's a few different ways to think about this. Now, one way we can think about this is noticing the pattern, right? If we put in eight and we get out nine, that number is one bigger. If we put in 16 and we get out 18, that number is two bigger. Okay, well, this is a question mark, right? We don't know the output, so let's skip that for a moment. If we put in 32, we get out 36. Okay, that's four bigger. If we put in 40, we get out 45, that's five bigger. So if you look at our pattern, it went up by one, two, a mystery number, then four, then five. We could say, okay, it makes sense that this would be three more, right? One more than two more than three more than five more than four more than five more. That would fit a pattern. So one way to do this is to say, okay, what's three more than 24? And that would be 27. But it's not always super easy to pick up a pattern. So another way you could do this, since we know it's a ratio table, that means the ratio of each input to output should be the same for the whole table. So if the ratios are equal, remember ratios that are equal are a proportion. So another way we could do this is we could set up a proportion to find our missing number. Okay, and if we wanted to do it that way, we could pick any set of numbers we know, and I'm, I would pick eight and nine since they're the smallest numbers, right? They're gonna be a little easier to work with. We can say the ratio of the input to output, or eight to nine, should be equal or in the same ratio as this input and output. So 24 would be compared to what number? X. And remember, anytime you have a proportion, you can cross multiply to solve for X or whatever the missing number is. So if I cross multiply, eight times X gives me eight X. And when I cross multiply on the other side, nine times 24 gives me 216. Okay, and then to solve for X, I would need to divide by eight on both sides. So I'm going to divide both of these by 8. Here it cancels out and leaves me with x. And on the other side, 216 divided by 8 gives me 27. So notice I got the same answer whether I followed the pattern or whether I used a proportion. Okay, so there's more than one way to do the same problem, but either way we can see that missing number should be 27. Okay, complete the ratio table. For our inputs, we have one, two, three, four, and five. Our outputs, well, we don't know the first one, and then it's 16, 24, 32, and four. So notice the pattern, as we're going up by one, right, one, two, three, four, and five, our output numbers are going up by eight, right? These are almost like I'm counting by eights. 16, 24, 32, 40, right? This would be eight times two. This would be 8 times 3, 24. 8 times 4 would be 32, and 8 times 5 would be 40. Okay, so that means if we follow this pattern, well, if this was 8 times 2, 8 times 3, 8 times 4, and 8 times 5, then the first one should have been 8 times 1, which would give me the number 8. Now, of course, if I wanted to set up a proportion, I could have done that. I could have said one over what number is equal to, and then just compared it to another input and output, like two over 16. And notice that would give me the exact same answer. If I cross multiplied here, I would say two times X is equal to one times 16 or 16, and I would get the exact same answer. So you can either follow the pattern or you can set up a proportion to solve for your missing number. Okay, so let's follow our pattern for this one. For this one, notice our inputs. We have 5, 10, blank, 20, 25. And our outputs are 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. 
Now, since they're ratio tables, we know that they're going to follow that same pattern. So our outputs are going up by two each time, and it looks like our inputs are going up by five, right? Five, 10, 15, 20, 25. So this missing number should be 15. Now, if you like the proportion way better, you of course could have done that too. Okay, if I look at my pattern here, my output numbers are going up by four, right? Four, eight, 12, 16, 20. That's almost like I'm counting by fours, right? They're going up by four each time. And here I have five, 10, 15, blank, and 25. So on this side, they're going up by five each time. So the numbers make a five to four ratio, right? Five to four is equal to eight to 10 is equal to 15 over 12. So my missing number here would have to be 20. Okay, notice this time our input numbers are going up by 10, right? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. And my output numbers look like they're going up by one. One, two, blank, three, and four. I'm sorry, four and five. So the missing number would have to be three. Now, again, keep in mind our ratios are always equal here. So 10 to 1 is equal to 20 to 2, which is equal to 30 to 3, which is equal to 40 to 4, right? They're all in a 10 to 1 ratio. Okay, if we follow our pattern here, I can see my output numbers are going up by 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And it looks like my input numbers should be going up by six, right? We have six, then we don't know, 18, 24, and 30. Well, 18 is six times three, 24 is six times four, and 30 is six times five. So this looks like this should be six times two or 12. So notice they're all in a six to one ratio, right? The input is six times more than the output. Okay, this time my input numbers are 9, 18, 27, 36, and 45. Notice it's like we're counting by nines, right? 9, 18, 27, this is 9 times 1, 9 times 2, 9 times 3. And on the other side, I don't know the first number. And then it's 16, 24, 32, and 40. That seems like we're counting by eights, right? So this is 9 times 1, 9 times 2, 9 times 3, 9 times 4, just so you can see the pattern, and 9 times 5. On this side, when we're counting by 8s, well, 16 is 8 times 2. 24 is 8 times 3. 32 is 8 times 4, and 40 is 8 times 5. So we can see that the missing one, if we follow this pattern, the first one should have been 8 times 1, or 8. Another way to look at this is the input and output are in a nine to eight ratio, right? Nine to eight is equal to 18 over 16 is equal to 24 over 24. 